everybody. It's your old friend Combs here. It's been a few minutes. I say this every time when I don't record a video for a little while. But here we are. We're back. I was I was lost and now I'm found. Who found me? Me, brother. What's up? How are you doing? It's been a while. Yeah. It's been yeah, it's been a little while, but we're here and we're doing it. We're we doing are. It. We are. We are. So, what are we doing? Quick, what are we doing? What are we doing? What well, are first, we doing? <laughs> first, I'm going to make a plug. Okay. A plug for my Twitch channel that nice. everyone should go and follow. Link is in the description. That's where I've been. I've been streaming every day. I'm trying my best oh, to be Casino. Okay. okay. So, to we're having beat? a great time over Wait, there. Wait, did you say B or beat? B Casino. Okay. Okay. Maybe one day I'll beat Casino, but I doubt it. <laughs> He's amazing. If you guys don't know Casino, you got to know him. He's the coolest. Not as cool as Valley, though. So, anyways. <laughs> so, we're going to be talking about some stuff. We are. You are we absolutely are. correct. I'm full of energy, everybody. Full of life. He is. He is full of all of that. So we have a couple of things that we're going to talk about. Um, one of the big things we're going to talk about is uh, different rumors and thoughts on uh, Invisible Woman's release. Because we don't know how she's going to be released. But there have been some rumors and things going around that we're going to... a lot of rumors. There's been a lot. So we're going to oh. throw them out there. See what you guys think. What you've heard. Let us know in the comments. And yeah, I guess you know we're gonna find out when we find out. But it's nice to speculate at times, you know. It's fun. You got to get your get your uh, predictions down on paper and own it, right or wrong. Gotta write them down. Gotta yep. write them down. So, um, pretty much, we got a a little list of stuff to talk about. So I'm thinking the one one thing I want to talk about real quick. We're gonna start and just start in hard and heavy, right? So, uh, character release speed. I feel like Fox Next has been a uh, been giving us a lot of characters recently right like we it's have like, like nascar 500 here jeez yeah <laughs> yeah i mean that's what i'm saying so we have i mean so we had the sinister six team come out and then fantastic four is now out as well i mean i just unlocked vulture and fantastic four is coming out when super soon and it's like man like just they're out. On they're out they're out they're one of out they're out one of them's out already oh yeah thing is out yeah and so it's just like you just put out packs for Vulture, and now you want me to also buy packs for Thing like a day later? It seems like. I don't know how many days it's been, but it feels like a day later. I'm just like, I, I don't know, man. What do you think about that? You're absolutely right. They're, they're, they're releasing the characters very, very quickly, but it's kind of their marketing speed that you'll never catch up. You'll never reach that finish line. They're constantly uh, adding new characters, and uh, it's... It's kind of their the 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 marketing strategy that they use in these collecting games. So that's that's how yeah. it is, and it's it's a lot quicker than other games that I've played. But it that's that's their business model. So yeah, I was kind of is. thinking that too. It feels too fast, but it does feel. I too, don't know. It does feel very fast. I just like so for me, like it's weird, right? Because I um I don't have like I have barely anything left to farm off of nodes, mm -hmm. and um. I just have like a bunch of characters that are like in premium stuff only or whatever. But like, I'm like, I don't even, I do two refreshes a day on characters. And then the other two refreshes I just use for gear because I don't have, there's like no more characters. Like I'm farming aim assaulter right now to Ooh. farm somebody. Oh, I thought we were talking about release uh, rumors later for invisible woman. <laughs> but uh, why would you stop bringing up aim so soon? <laughs> <laughs> Watch out. Um, <laughs> So, I don't know. That's something I'm thinking about. Like, maybe hopefully uh, Fox Nexus will put more characters on some nodes or something. I know, like, Nexus, whatever stuff is coming soon, maybe. I don't know. Um, actually, I don't know that. We've been saying that forever. I noticed there was a little thing that somebody showed me that seemed to be more gear that was available on the Nexus nodes. Have you seen anything about that? I have not seen data mines or rumors about Nexus nodes, but uh, my, my suspicion is level 75, which they've been talking about since January, I think. And yeah, that's I don't right. know. That's that's when I think Nexus is coming out. Whenever they do level seventy-five. Yeah, I believe that. So uh, just to clarify, it's not a data mine or a rumor. It's like in game, like there's certain gear pieces. Oh, okay. And, like okay. if you scroll over to like their farmable locations, more have been added. Oh, uh, like, okay, okay, okay. Nexus yeah, ones. you know what? I have seen that. I haven't paid attention to remember any of it. So. Right. <laughs> it probably doesn't matter, but whatever, Valley. Just let me know that what I'm saying isn't important to you. No, no, it, it is. I I want to see Nexus. I want to see what characters are going to add on that as well. I, I just, agree. 
if it's I if agree. I can't farm it, I'm not paying attention. So. Right, right, I agree. So, um, going back to, or not going back, I'm sorry. Uh, one thing I did want to mention about, um, just like a more positive uh, thing, and we were talking about this earlier, and I've talked to a couple people about this, but it just seems like uh, just positive, like kudos to Fox Next. Uh, like they've been making some blunders, some good old screw ups recently, um, but they've been making good on it. Like, I mean, we, I think that we all understand that mistakes happen, but when you. Yeah. Kind of just own up to it and say yeah we messed up here's a decent you know payback for that like they've been doing pretty good with those recently and so i just want to say like shout out to that like that's great like i'm happy yes. with that um the response yeah, time we, is a lot quicker too you know it happened on friday is like yeah we're, we're going away at the weekend just we'll, we'll get it solved type of thing uh yeah. cerebro by the way so mm -hmm. shout out to cerebro for doing that but yeah whoop, whoop. It, little mistakes and they, they've solved all of the little mistakes that they've had so far so Thumbs yep. up, thumbs so, up. Yeah, thumbs up on that. We just want to shout them out for that. Uh, next thing uh, we we're kind of thinking about, the, you know, in kind of the same vein of things being added is uh, Coulson and Cyclops. Where the uh, where the F are these dudes, man? Where are they at? Uh, soon, trademark. Fox next. <laughs> TM. Trademark. TM. It is trademarked. So I don't know, man. They... I'm, I'm not sure why we got Fantastic Four before Coulson and Cyclops because they were teased before that, but I'm, I'm as also, baffled as everybody else right now. Yeah, I, I wonder what, if where it's are they? because like, their kits got leaked or whatever, you know what I mean? What if they were just yeah. like, nah. Well, one, one was released, right? One, I think one was released in the Envoy program, if I'm remembering uh, correct, or were they both? I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm remembering that wrong. But. So Cyclops was in-game. It was an accident, oh, yeah. and this was before the Phoenix event. They added Phoenix and Cyclops in game. Yeah, I know because yeah. I was streaming at the time, yeah. and I was talking about them. I have footage game. of it. He was in game. He's not like a Koye, yeah. a Red Skull. He was actually in game. Where, 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 yeah. where did he so go? He, I don't know. So he was in game. I had footage of it. They asked me to not do anything with it, so I just kind of left it alone because nobody else had the footage. I don't think, um, and I just left it alone out of respect. But. Um, you know, I don't know why I did that. Could have got all the views, but come on, Valley. Why, why you should have let me get all the views, man? You should have put it out. Should. Have. Oh well. <laughs> it's what it is. I didn't want to get. I didn't want to get evicted out of the program. So, but yeah, I think that um, it's interesting because it's like the X Men team is already pretty good. But then if you would put Cyclops in it based on the kit that was in the game, it would have made them so much better. But I wonder, like maybe they just. Maybe they want to use it later to like bring it back to even more like relevancy or something. I don't know. Yeah, I mean the only thing that I could think of is is like you said, Cyclops makes the X Men better. Coulson is going to make the Shield better. Maybe they're just waiting for Fa Fantastic Four to be released before the X Men could take their place back on top arena, or Shield will get back to their uh, meta selves. I don't know. Maybe maybe they're just waiting on it because of that, because how Great good these characters actually are, you know create some nice juicy drama for us yeah. Create some <laughs> anticipation for them yes so uh next thing uh that we wanted to talk about and this is something i'm thinking about this is something i've talked to a lot of people about and you and i are talking about it and talk to some other people about it it's been a lot is right now the required play time for the game is a little it's a outrageous it's a lot <laughs> yeah so like you and i were even talking i don't play blitz um, if you've been subbed to this channel for any amount of time, you know that. Um, but it's like, I don't play Blitz, and I feel like, first thing I do, I wake up in the morning, Blitz. Or not play Blitz, but I wake up in the morning, Marvel Strike Force. I'm at work, Marvel Strike Force. I get home in the evening, Marvel Strike Force. Last thing I'm looking at before I go to bed, Marvel Strike Force. And I'm just like, man, like, this is too much. It's a lot. It's a lot. Um, I know there's times when I'm, like, making videos... And I'm like I gotta, I gotta stop this and play the game because there's a raid going on, or there's a war going on, or I gotta do a blitz rotation or something. And it, it is pretty excessive that you can't uh, still be competitive as a player, but you, you can't have gaps in your gameplay. You gotta play pretty religiously if you wanna remain competitive in this game. And I, I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. If, I've, I've, I've never, I've never not played this game non-competitively, so I don't know how much time that would take. But I've always liked this game, and for me, it's a little different because I make videos on this game as well. So, right. I don't know. It, yeah. it, it's a lot, though. It's a lot of time that this game requires. So. 
It is, and it's like for like people like you and me, like it's not that big of a deal, right? Because like what you just said, like we make content, we make money off of doing this kind of stuff. So like for us, it's not really that big of a deal because it's like, oh yeah, like you can really just look at it and say like I play this much to be competitive because I make money in it. But then it's like I'm pretty sure that there's a lot of players who probably do as much as us or more. More. And they're not YouTubers. They're not streamers. Yeah. So and it's, it's like, a lot. I don't know. You know, when you, when you take into account uh, when there's a hard blitz. I know a few weeks ago, we, our alliance literally had five raids open at the same time. We had a war going on at the same time. And it's like, this is this is a lot. And then, you know, it, it, it's in the evening. So we got I got to yeah. pay attention to the arena as well. And I was like, yeah, it gets to be exactly. a, a bit much with all the different game modes and all the stuff they're adding that just takes more time without doing anything to alleviate some of the time in other game modes. Yeah, so. I agree. So just Fox next. Hope you hear that. Just maybe give us something that could like slow things down just a little bit. Um, but I don't know. We'll so, no, no. Out. Speed things. Speed things up. Speed, speed yeah, yeah, yeah. it up. Sorry. <laughs> speed things up. Because the hard part is, is like when you don't have like when we don't have like one of the Greek raids. The problem is, is like then it's like oh I have no gold now. Yeah, and, and then so when it's we like, do so have the Greek raids, it's like oh man I gotta spend all this time actually playing this because Ultimus yeah. could auto if you're. You know, I've been playing long enough at this point, so. So, I don't know. But just maybe figure out how to speed things up or make it be less time-consuming. So, all right. Well, um, we got one last thing to talk about, and we're running short on time, so we'll have to make it quick, even though it's probably the most interesting part of the video. Wait, is there a time limit here? There's no time limit. This is YouTube. What are you talking about? <laughs> this will go as long as it goes. Okay, you heard it here first, Let's folks. have this, this discussion go. fully. Let's not do an abbreviated version of this. All right. <laughs> Valley whipping me into shape because I've, right. I've been out of practice for a little while. He's back here just, no, you can't end yeah. your videos. Talk ah. about what you want. Let's go. Do nah. this. Let's right. do this. So, lots of rumors recently. There's a lot of talking them. Talking about the release of Invisible Woman and how she's going to be obtained mm -hmm. and what we think and what other people think. We're going to talk about all of it. Yes. Yeah, there's been a lot of rumors so I have one specific rumor that I'm kind of inclined to believe, but I don't really know why. It's just it sound it makes sense to me. Valley seems to have one or two that he's leaning more towards, and we just we're not sure. So we're gonna talk about it and just say why we think what we think, and then you guys, uh, whatever you think, leave us a comment down below and let us know. So, uh. <laughs> so basically, I sort of am inclined to think, and I heard this somewhere. It might have been on like through casinos discord maybe i don't remember maybe casinos chat or something um but i heard someone talking about this and they were like well what if it was all legendary characters for mm. invisible woman hmm. and so like i was like okay so at first i was like whatever like you have no credibility but then i was like man okay what if it is because think about it so this whole event that's been going on recently is like the 80th anniversary so we're celebrating the 80th uh -huh. anniversary um and so like what if it's just five legendary characters because legendary characters are kind of like they're like the most iconic characters through the ages like you know I you agree. know what i mean i agree like, it make, makes sense the logic make of that makes sense i, I, yeah. I get what you're, i get where you're going with that right um, so this is not a leak Nobody look at this and be like, oh, that Combs and Valley said that. It's not a leak. This is speculation. I need to, again, clarify that because <laughs> if it turns out to be that, and then I'm going to get in a lot of trouble if I turned out to guess this right. But, like, you know what I'm saying? So, like, this is just speculation. But that, that makes sense to me because it's like, oh, okay, like, this would be required. But then it's like. I mean, I've, I've you know heard that talked about in other g games similar to this, that they would have legendary characters be the unlocked. They've never actually done it. Um, right. I, I wouldn't be opposed to it. It would kind of suck for newer players. But, you know, Fantastic Four is kind of an endgame team, so it's not the worst thing that newer players don't get Sue Storm right off the bat. But right. it, 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 from a marketing standpoint, you kind of want your newer players to be able to get some of these characters. So it's a double-edged sword having it be all legendary characters. So we'll see what happens. We still, I'm waiting for the official announcement because there's a lot of other rumors floating around there. Well, I mean, if you think about it, if, uh, if newer players don't unlock her, they'll get the red stars for her, you know, to entice them to continue playing. So 
Yeah, this, 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 the, the tinfoil hat is coming on it's because I've heard things hat. about that stuff. Uh, why the red stars are so high on that as well. Yep. So anyway, what, what have you been hearing? What do you, how do you think she's going to be released? I have seen a lot of chatter throughout Discord about Sinister Six being the unlock. Uh, I've seen a bunch of different channels talking about that. What uh, Have you seen that as well? Yeah, I have seen that some, but I try to choose to not see it. I, I've, 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 I've like, I hope this is not true. Uh, it, it would, uh, you know, who, how many people are actually going to unlock her? How many people actually have their Sinister Any? Six at five stars, six stars, seven stars? I don't know. I know Does I don't. Anyone? I know I'm not close. I mean, I guess just like Mega Whales, but then you kind of run into the same problem with what we were talking about before, or what you said before. With legendary, it's like you want some new players to get it, but like no new players are gonna get that. Yeah, or 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 all the new players because they're pretty much all new characters except for Green Goblin. And if you've opened your wallets, then yeah, I that and it, it kind of sets a weird whale. precedent that a lot of people are gonna buy, be buying these new characters even if they're not, you know, meta characters because they might run the risk of uh, not being able to unlock a future legendary. So I I would not like it if it's the Sinister Six, but I haven't seen that rumor. Uh, around yeah. a bunch of I know that well. um, I've seen on Reddit a lot recently that um, a lot of people are saying they're not going to spend on the Fantastic Four packs until Fox Next tells the what the unlock is going to be for. Yeah, and I, I get that. I think a lot of people feel duped by the Phoenix. They bought Psylocke thinking that, oh, it's, I'm going to get Phoenix. And then uh, yeah. it was revealed that it was a six star unlock uh, when previously the footage and some of the other things that we've seen the in-game model of phoenix herself indicated that it would be a five-star unlock so i, oh, I yeah. think a lot of people were kind of wary because of that in the x-men yeah well i mean that's the problem that's like what kind of like that precedent sets those like when you kind of change things like that and then just like don't really do anything about it like then people are now afraid because people who would normally be buying all these packs are now just yeah. like mm, no nope, not gonna do it so i don't know it's like uh it's like my good old mom used to say still says is that every action and decision has a consequence, whether good or bad. That is very true. Science! Very true. Yes. So, Science! <laughs> um, leave a comment if you know where that's from. <laughs> yeah, leave a comment. I, think you I know definitely know where reaction. that's from. I will not be scouring your comments for what that reference is. No way, Jose. Man. So, keep an eye out, guys. I'm putting out a video soon. Uh, talking about my thoughts on Fantastic Four, um, and I'm not going to spoil anything, but they do look like they're going to be pretty good, you know, pretty pretty ball in. Um, but yeah, so keep an eye out for that. Should be coming out soon. Um, I don't know. Follow my Twitch, like this video, check out my the channel. Check out my channel too, guys. Yeah, yeah YouTube.com yeah. Out... backslash Valley Flying, and I my new Instagram. Out Valley stuff. Oh, and his new Instagram. I guess check it out if you want to. Check it out, guys. <laughs> no, definitely check it out. Valley's awesome. Um, as you can tell, we're we're buddies, and so we have a lot of fun doing this. So if you want to see more stuff like this, um, make sure to sub to Valley. He's awesome. All of his videos are funny and great. So make sure to do that. I'll leave a link in the description for him, as well as all the other stuff I talked about. Um, anything else that you would like to say? Valley's make sure you smash in that like button and subscribe to Combs. That's all I got to say. <laughs> All right, I smashed it right Ooh, now. In smash front of it. You, so. And hit the bell. It. Hit the notification bell. Hit the notification bell on both of us. Yes. Because you can't miss this content. Yay! Yay!